Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the hexadecimal to octal conversion. In uh, the previous video, we discussed about the octal to hexadecimal conversion. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the opposite of that means the hexadecimal to octal conversion. Now, as I said in the previous video of octal to hexadecimal conversion, we cannot perform interconversion between hexadecimal and octal that is hexadecimal to octal or octal to hexadecimal directly. We cannot do that. We have to take the help of binary number system which acts as a mediator between these two number systems okay the hexadecimal and the octal so here also in order to convert the hexadecimal number any given hexadecimal number into octal form we have to first convert the hexadecimal number into binary First, we have to perform this conversion hexadecimal to binary and then that binary number is converted into octal. Okay? We are concerned with hexadecimal to octal, but we cannot perform, we cannot perform this conversion directly. We cannot perform that. We have to take this route hexadecimal to binary, binary to octal. Okay. In the octal to hexadecimal conversion, what we did, we converted the octal number into binary and then that binary to hexadecimal. Here, we will do that in the opposite. We convert the hexadecimal to binary, then that binary number into octal. Okay. So, let us uh, just see uh, how we are going to do that with the help of a, an example. Okay. So, let us take an example, okay, uh, we will uh, discuss how we are going to perform the conversion of an hexadecimal to octal uh, conversion, okay. So, let us take uh, an hexadecimal number, okay, let us say uh, 2a point b, okay, this is the given hexadecimal number and we have to convert it into octal form. So, as I said, we have to divide this process into two parts. Step 1 is hexadecimal to binary conversion. Okay. Hexadecimal to binary conversion. Okay. So, I have already uh, discussed in detail the process of conversion of hexadecimal number to binary number. You can check out those two videos hexadecimal to binary and binary to hexadecimal in my channel so that you understand this in a better way. Okay? So, in order to convert a hexadecimal number here yeah, to A and B into binary what we have to do is that we have to represent each of these individual symbols, okay, hexadecimal symbols 2, A, B in the form of 4 bit binary grouping of those binary digits that is 0 and 1. We have to represent this 2 and A in terms of 4 bit combinations of 0 and 1. For example, in the hexadecimal number system, we write 0 as 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 as 0, 0, 0, 1, see 4 bit groupings, 2 as 0, 0, 1, 0, let us say 10 or A as 1, 0, 1, 0, 11 or B, okay, it is an alphanumeric code, the hexadecimal number system is also called as alphanumeric code because from 10 to 15, it is represented with the help of alphabets from A, B, C, D, E, F. 
So please check out that video. Okay, the hexadecimal introduction to hexadecimal number system and hexadecimal to binary and binary to hexadecimal number system in my channel. Okay, you will understand the concept in a better way. Okay, so eleven is represented as one zero one one and so on. Similarly, we write uh, fifteen or f. Okay, as one 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 one. Okay, we do it in this way. So here we have to represent each of these symbols in terms of four-bit binary groupings. Okay, so let's do that. Two. We can write as zero zero one zero. A, which is ten. Okay, ten as one zero one. Zero. B or eleven as one zero one one, and the hexadecimal point. Okay, this hexadecimal point will coincide with the binary point. So this hexadecimal number. Two A point B, okay. This hexadecimal number in binary representation is we just combine these four bit groupings, and the hexadecimal point will coincide with the binary point. So this in binary representation is zero zero one zero one zero one zero binary point one zero one. Okay, this is the binary representation. So we have converted, uh, we have accomplished the first uh, task, that is to convert the hexadecimal number, this hexadecimal number, to a point b into binary. Now what we have to do, we have to convert this binary number into octal form. That's the second step. Okay, so let us just do that. So in step two. We have to convert the binary number, which we got by converting this hexadecimal number into binary form, which is this, into octal form. So I have already posted a video related to binary to octal and octal to binary conversion process. So you please check out that video. So in order to convert a binary number into octal. What we have to do is that we have to make three-bit groupings. We have to make three-bit groupings. The concept here is that in octal number system, there are total of eight symbols from zero to seven, which is allowed. And using those eight symbols only, we have to form as many numbers as we can. So, using two bits, zero and one, two bits, zero and one. We need three-bit groupings to represent each of the symbol in the octal number system using binary digits. So we have to make three-bit bunches or three-bit groups. So always the tip is while making any kind of grouping, be it four-bit groups or three-bit groups, four-bit groups in case of hexadecimal. Three-bit groups in case of octal. The tip is that you always start from this point. You, this is the reference. This point. This is the binary point. The whole part, that is the portion which is which lies to the left of the point. You start from there. You start from the right. Okay, for the whole part, and you gradually move towards the left. Forming three-bit groups. Okay, this is one three-bit group. This is one three-bit group. And here, there is another three. We need another three, but there is two. So, but it doesn't make any difference because even if we add a zero, the value will be zero. Because, regardless of what happens, this value will be zero. Zero 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 is zero. Now, for the fractional part, okay, 
that is the portion which lies to the right of the point, the binary point. You start forming groups from right to left, from this point and gradually move towards the right side, forming 3 bit groups. So, you form one 3 bit group, but here we have only one bit. So, we have to add two zeros extra. Now, an important thing is that addition of zeros on the MSB side or the left side for the whole part, that is the portion which lies to the left of the binary point, addition of zeros on this side will not cause any change in the magnitude or value of that number. For the fractional part, that is the portion which lies to the right of the point, addition of zeros, any number of zeros on the extreme right will cause no change in the value or the magnitude of that number. Okay? So, here that is why we can add zeros safely without any worry about any change in the magnitude or value of the number. So, now we can form a 3 bit group which is 1, 0, 0. Okay? Now, <coughs> Now, what we have to do is that we have to represent each of these 3 bit binary groupings in terms of the octal symbols. For example, in the octal number system, 0 is written as 0, 0, 0, 1 is written as 0, 0, 1. Similarly, let us say 5, it is written as 1, 0, 1. Similarly, um, let us say 8, it is, sorry, 8 is not allowed, sorry, 8 is not allowed in the octal number system, sorry, 8 is not allowed. Suppose 7 can be written as 1, 1, 1 and so on. So, this 3 bit grouping, 0, 0, 0, this is 0, 1, 0, 1, this is 5, 0, 1, 0, this is 2, then the octal point, it coincides with the binary point, ok. Next, again this one is 1, 0, 1, again this is 5 and this is 4, 1, 0, 0 is Okay. So, this binary number in octal form, equivalent octal form can be written as 52.54. See, all the symbols 5, 2, 5, 4 are within 0 and 7, which is allowed in the octal number system. So, the equivalent octal representation of this binary number is 52.54. And this binary number is the equivalent representation of this hexadecimal number. So, we can say that this octal representation 52.54 is the equivalent octal representation of this hexadecimal number 2a point b base 16. So, the octal representation of 2a point b 16 that is base 16 is 52.54 to the base 8. Okay? So, the process is first you have to convert the hexadecimal number into binary form okay? by making 4 bit groupings of each of the individual hexadecimal symbols. Then you have to convert that binary number into octal form by making 3 bit groupings of the binary digits string of 1s and zeros, and representing each 3 bit group in terms of the equivalent hexadecimal uh, sorry octal symbol. Okay? So, here we have discussed the hexadecimal to octal conversion and we have discussed one example related to that. So, I hope you like this video and uh, Please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.